I think music is incredibly powerful and is, I mean, we know that it moves people. And so I think it is very important what you're listening to, what you're filling your mind with. But it'll influence you, man, them lyrics, you, you know, the, the negativity and the different things and, and, it, and it gets into your mind and, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of hip, you know, hypnotists out there and people doing different things. It's because stuff like that works on you, man. And it's a very powerful tool. And I think a lot of us at times, I know I was the one listening to music that had bad lyrics and a bad message behind it. I'd be like, but mom, I'm just listening to the beats. And people that say, well, I just listen to the beat. Well, you can't just listen to the beat because you have two ears. So you're going to catch everything else that's said too. But I knew all the words because subconsciously, subconsciously it gets in there. You know, when you're thinking about it, you're singing the words. Music is a subtle way to get in there, and uh, and it's powerful. And you can either use it for, for good or you can use it for bad. The music you listen to is almost comparable to the people that you hang out with. Meaning, if you're hanging out with somebody who's always negative, always <laughs> cussing up a storm, always chasing after this and that, well, obviously, most likely, it's going to rub off on you. What we take in, even visually and just hearing, um, there needs to be you know, some type of a filter or just a strainer to just let in the, uh, the stuff that we need. If you're listening to, to music that's completely negative, that, um, you know, that's something that is going to get in your mind and fill you with that. I mean, our bodies are kind of like a, a computer. What, you, what, what we put in is kind of what comes out. I'm just saying we need to be selective and fill our lives just like we fill our lives with friends that lift us up and, you know, and, and give us what we need, so to speak. Music is very uh, influential and it's important that we listen to godly music, not secular music. It can make you angry or make you sad or make you happy. Music does affect us. So if you're putting positive things in, you know, music that's positive, that has, you know, Christ-centered, you know, it can make a big difference in your, how you feel that day and how you act. When I listen to hip hop, I would listen to NWA song or Ice Cube song, I would want to go shoot my enemy. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's very influential. If you listen to a T-Bone record, it's going to make you want to go out and hand out Bibles and hand out tracks and go be evangelistic. That's why I'm so happy that Christian music exists, that, that glorifies God and that gives us hope and the answers and um, that we can express our faith through.